What is going on guys? My name is Toby Emu. Uh, I wanted to make this video because in the last uh, three to five days I've had a huge rush of new subs and uh, views on old videos and I want to get on top of this because this is a big discussion that's been a part of my channel the last couple of years and that relates to WW2K story mode and I want to go into a little bit about that and what, what everything that has happened since they took it out in WW2K14. So for those that don't know uh, maybe you're just subscribing now because I've had a lot of new subscribers from old 2K14 videos that have, after I updated tags, titles, and everything, have kind of skyrocketed up. And I've gotten a lot of new viewers going, hey, where's the 2K stories? Uh, for those that don't know, um, I made a very big channel off of WWE uh, 12, 13, and WWE 2K14 stories, playing stories that my... Um, that, that users in the community generated, that my fans generated for me to play, uh, that a lot of people remember the main event and I on television jokes, and they really loved. Well, <laughs> Black Black Friday happened like a year or two ago where 2K announced that they were shutting down the servers for 2K14. Um, the game is old, and I, and I kind of understood it, but you had this one game that had a feature that none of your other games do. Um, and I was really disappointed because 2K14 is still my favorite game. Now, what do I mean when I keep saying like it was the last bomb-ass game? Because I, I tweeted about this because the replayability in 2K14 was there because of the stories. Now, I will I will concede that those cutscenes were the same in 12, 13, and 14. There was nothing new, so you can only have so many times you run over a monster truck or so many times... But near the end, there were so many good branching storylines that just kept going, and it made me in awe that, to be honest with you, I still love the game, right? Like, 2K15 and 2K16 and WWE 2K17, the team did an amazing job of making a simulation-based video game. They, made, they did a great job of, when I play it, I mark out playing it. But that's when I'm playing it because there's not a lot of replayability. It's not really fun to play online. I don't play online unless I'm, you know, doing a stream or something or maybe with some other YouTubers. Um, there's no motivation to play online. There's there's no leagues. There's, I mean, you can join like an EFED or something like that. But for the most part, there's nothing that gets a bunch of people interested. There's nothing that does this. So 2K14 was something people can make their own stories, whether they were funny, smart. If you guys remember the uh, milk video, uh, Stephanie... <laughs> There's a lot of crazy stuff you could do within a video game. So I, I feel a little bad now because of this huge influx in new subscribers. And I'm like, well, they, they discontinued the mode, right? Like the only way and my 360 actually broke, which I'm super disappointed that my 360 broke. It happened last year when we moved into our apartment. Um, the box dropped and, the, and it shattered the 360. Um, and I just didn't want to spend $100 on an old console. You know, I didn't want to... Um, do something that I would have to, you know, I'd buy. And especially like when they took the game out, when they took the feature on the shut down the servers, it was like, because <sighs> before the server shut down, what I did was I downloaded 10 stories on my Xbox and played through those. And I also downloaded 10 stories on not as fan sports gaming universe, which you should totally go check out if you like sports games, like the description. Uh, and I downloaded a bunch of stories on his thing. But what I didn't realize was a lot of those stories were ones that I'd already played. Um, so I'm just, I don't want to say this is a, a beg or a plea to WWE 2K uh, because I know they really don't have a lot of motivation to ever put in a story designer. It's not something that I think the core audience really cares about. The people that are going to buy the game. Uh, this is one of the things that I kind of understand when it comes to features, right? Like if you have a Call of Duty or if you have these other games, you don't really have an audience cap. Well, with WWE, from a business perspective, I get why, okay, this feature, what can we do? And this is uh, this is the truth. I don't want to like go into it, but if if I know I'm only selling X amount of games a year, what motivation do I have to bring in all those other modes? Because if you're not watching WWE, are they really all of a sudden, if they put in like GM mode, which is also like one of my favorite modes, got a little bit repetitive. I still preferred story creator over GM mode. I'm just going to be honest with you here. Um, but if you put that back in the game, let's say you put in GM mode, you're not all of a sudden going to sell a million extra copies of the game. So, as a YouTuber, I want GM mode. I want story designer. I want all this stuff. But from a business side, I get it. Like, what are the... Are they not going to go and sell a crap load more copies? At least, in, I don't think so. Um, I know I sold a lot of copies of WWE 12, 13, and 14 
uh, through making videos and stories because you guys would always tell me. Like, I would see people in the comments like, oh, this is in the game. This is rad. And a lot of people would buy them. I remember during my 2K14, at the height of my channel, right, when I was getting the most views, making the most money, I gave away probably 50-some copies of WWE 2K14 out of my own pocket that I bought on Amazon uh, because I loved the game so much and I wanted people to have it. Well, people have asked me, like, you know, your channel's kind of died. What's going on? You know, where are the stories? Where's all this? Well, when you build up a channel for four years and you're used to doing that one thing you know and love, and then 2K15 doesn't have it, and then your opinion of 2K15 is like, great simulation game, but there's no replay value. So you get burnt out three months into the game, and you're like, well, I don't know what to do. So you can get your hopes up for 2K16, and again, a great simulation video game, but the replayability factor is still not there. Then you get your super hopes up for W2K17 because they have the highlight reel coming back, and then you bring back the highlight reel, but you don't have hide panel, and it's like... <sighs> because as a consumer, the gameplay has gotten better every single year, right? Like the oh my god moments, the controller mapping... I still mark the hell out when I play 2K17, but it's not that game that I'm sitting around like going back to and wanting to pick up every single day. Like with 2K14, I never got disappointed or, or bummed out playing the game. Like I would turn on the Xbox just to go find stories because I was having a good time. I could sit down, you know, play a whole story in one sitting because I, I literally would. Like when my channel was booming and I was making these 2K14 stories, I would sit down on like a Saturday and I would just play those for eight hours <laughs> i would just keep playing them and that's the god honest truth so i think we need to make wwe 2k great again and bring back something that can incorporate this now with backstage we're slowly incorporating a lot of cutscenes with the universe mode we start to have it last year or if we actually get something even if it's only like you can put them in order right they, they render faster you can go full screen without the quality degrading even something like that would be huge um, to have it so the genders don't necessarily lock up so you can have men and women in a cutscene. Um, because it's a little frustrating. It's a little faster on WWE 2K17 on PC version that I've been trying. Um, trying to make custom stories, like patchwork stories. Like, I try to make my custom Bullet Club versus, which I didn't finish. I think the first part's only got like 7,000 views. Um, because it, it takes a hell of a lot more. Like, I have so much respect for the FAM guys. By the way, guys, the FAM event's coming up. Links are also in the description. Um, for the people that put in the amount of work. Because I want to make machinima in movies. And I want to make stories again. But when you don't have those tools, it's like, what do I do? So I've, deb I've been debating a couple options. Um, <laughs> one of the options. This is, this is the, like the most random thing ever. I had somebody on a 2K14 video. I don't know which one it was. If it was the Randy Orton story or somebody had said, Hey, Toby, I have 10 stories on my Xbox. Could I mail you a USB with all my custom stories? And I think this was one of the guys that made a lot of great stories that I loved. And I went, nah, man, you can't. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> 10 save stories? Like, you have 10 save slots of 10 new WWE 2K14 stories? Can I have them? And then I thought, well, what if I made stories myself? Like, what if I bought an Xbox and bought a 2K14 copy again and I made stories myself? Would that be something I'm interested in? And that's where I kind of wanted to pose the question to you guys. If you've even made it this far, if you were somebody that loved WWE 2K14, because in the last two or three days, I've had more views on 2K14 stuff than I have <laughs> on most of my channel in the last month or two. And going back and watching those videos, I just had fun, man. That was a time when YouTube was easy because it was fun. It was like now a lot of YouTubers are in the, the really stressed out mode, especially with YouTube monetization and everything that's happening. I mean, my God, I did a campaign for Cash for Apps. And <laughs> when money's that broke, I legitimately just kept using the app. And I've been like buying my own stuff like through app downloads and shit for the last couple months. So like Cash for Apps, I just gotten a $15 gift card. I made a video like three days ago, uh, two or three days ago, uh, talking about Cash for Apps. And then I actually uh, went from just that day in the next two days, I'd already gotten a $15 code um, through the app download. So we had had, you know, 15 bucks from cash for apps. And that was just like yesterday. Um, so I, I'm preaching about what I speak about. So 
if I was to buy an Xbox, would you guys still be interested in WWE 2K14 stories? Is this something you would want? And and if, if 2K stories are something you want, let WWE games know. Like, we don't have to be a dick about it because you have to remember, at the end of the day, it is a business. And putting in a feature we all want doesn't necessarily mean they're going to sell more copies. And when it's a business decision, I think you kind of look at, like, what are the fans going to like the most? Backstage fighting last year was cool. Um, fighting in the crowd. Um, so they've done a lot of good stuff. Um, but a lot of their focus has just been on the wrestling and going to a more simulation base versus a lot of us, especially guys like Pulse, want to be running on a treadmill and have an arcade style, Uber Hacks or Nova. Um, so I wish we could find a compromise. I wish we could have the hardcore simulation game and then a more sped up, sped up arcade version that you can like do quick hit him stuff. Um, like where you could just crank up the speed, even if animations mess up, just give us like an arcade mode in game or at the very least give us story creator back. So uh, either that, or I was thinking about redubbing old WWE 2K uh, stories to try to make them like up to date with new jokes, main event on Ion stuff. Um, and I was trying to figure out which story I'd want to like recover the most. So if you have a, a favorite story of mine that I ever did 2K14, let me know in the comment section below, man. Like what, if you were joining in the last couple of days for 2K stories, which one did you come from? Where did you, cause I've gotten a huge spike in the life as ref, uh, life as a referee. I've had a huge spike in some other ones. So I'm very intrigued to see where people are coming from for 2K. And what would you want to see? Um, and if there are any 2K14 story creators out there and you have like 10 stories on a USB, I may have to talk about sending the USB so I can play all those stories. So um, I've done my best, guys. I've tried to like tell every time I see 2K, it's like story creator. That's cool. You guys got story creator this year? You got story creator? So I'm on top of it, guys. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, to try to get us this mode back. I think we, I slowly start to see it coming back, especially this year where they allowed cutscenes to be played for videos. I'm just hoping 2K18's got it. So, uh, that'll kind of wrap it up, man. Just kind of rambling on about 2K stories because, like I said, a huge influx of viewers and subs in the last couple days from 2K14 stuff. And I don't want to get people disappointed, but at the same time, I miss playing 2K14, man. I miss it. And I want to play some stories. So maybe I build some stories. If you have any ideas for a story, uh, and I do pick up 2K14, you can leave some ideas in the comments below, and I'll try to make a story too. But until next time, guys, it's your boy Tubby Emu. I'm going to keep on fighting for story mode. I'm never going to give up. I'm like John Cena from the day I die. From the day I'm born to the day I die. I'm going to fight for 2K story creator and video games. So until next time, it's your boy Tubby Emu. Thank you very much for watching. And we will see you all later.